This is Leonard. Leonard's story is driven by one simple question. Will Leonard ever get to meet his parallel family? I'm Olivia Constardine, and in order to answer this question, we must trace the development of geometry through history and around the globe. Euclid, the father of geometry, defined parallel lines as straight lines, which, being in the same plane and being produced indefinitely in both directions, do not meet one another in either direction. Let's take two parallel lines in the Euclidean plane and call them L1 and L2. By definition, they will always be separated by the same distance x. So no matter how far you extend these lines, they will never meet. It looks like we have our answer. Consider this idea, though. If we view a set of railroad tracks from above, we see that the rails are parallel. However, if you stand on the tracks and look off into the distance, it looks like those rails meet. Fast forward over a thousand years, and we find Renaissance artists like Filippo Brunelleschi and Leon Battista Alberti exploring this idea of linear perspective, or how to depict a three-dimensional scene on a flat surface. Brunelleschi and Alberti recognized that parallel lines appear to meet in the distance, and they called this spot the vanishing point. This painting by Pietro Perugino demonstrates these ideas. If viewed from above, the lines in the tiling would be parallel. So if we trace two of those lines in the picture, we see they meet at the vanishing point. And actually, an entire family of parallel lines will converge to the same point. Mathematicians like Girard de Zarga came along in the 1600s and said, let's make something mathematically useful out of this vanishing point. Let's say parallel lines really do meet, and let's now call this vanishing point the point at infinity. We can now say a whole family of parallel lines meet at this point at infinity. What's more, each family of parallel lines actually gets its own point at infinity. There's a slight problem with all this, though. We saw that parallel lines in the Euclidean plane will never meet. To remedy this, we have to take our lines to a new place, the projective plane. The projective plane is composed of two parts the Euclidean plane with all those families of parallel lines, and our new points at infinity. By making the shift to the projective plane, we move from the world of Euclidean geometry to a different type of geometry that de Zarga helped to found, projective geometry. So, do parallel lines meet? The answer is no in the world of Euclidean geometry. But in the world of projective geometry, yes, parallel lines meet at infinity. Let's put Leonard in the projective plane so he can finally meet his parallel family. Thank you for watching.